7,000 delegates from more than 200 regions of Europe came to Brussels on Monday for the launch of the European Week of Regions and Cities, organised jointly by the Committee of the Regions and the Directorate General for Regional Policy of the European Commission. Over the course of the week, 600 speakers will debate four key issues where Europe's regions and cities will play a vital role. Luc van der Brande is president of the Committee of the Regions. Effective action to bring Europe out of the crisis, being in the vanguard of the fight against climate change, developing new sources of sustainable growth and social cohesion and promoting the citizens' Europe. The Commissioner for Regional Policy, Paul Semecki, said the global recession had made the European institutions more important than ever. Since last year's open days, much has happened. We have been faced with a global financial and economic crisis to which we responded with the European Economic Recovery Plan and other measures taken at national and regional levels. By focusing these open days on the main theme, global challenges, European responses. We want to exchange views and learn more on how, to, how our regions can best pass these tests. And to underline the vital role regions play, the President of the Commission, Jose Barroso, emphasised his belief that local government through the European Committee of the Regions is central to his vision for the future of Europe. It is indeed my belief that is only in partnership with all levels of decision making we can make Europe the project we are dreaming of. Besides discussing the economic problems, the environment is also on the agenda. Looking towards the much anticipated United Nations Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen in December, the regions will consider this week how they can play their part. These open days will prove that Europe's regions and cities are active partners in the fight against climate change. Many of them are already greening regional economies, public facilities and budgets. Europe's regional and local authorities cooperate and exchange best practices at union and global level on prevention, adaptation, energy efficiency, renewable energies and sustainable transport. That's why Europe's regions and cities will be present at the UN Climate Change Conference in Copenhagen. But environmental solutions will also require working across borders, the third strand of this week's schedule. The fourth and final part will consider the hundreds of billions of euros spent in Europe's regions through the Cohesion Fund. Evaluating whether the money has been well spent and the lessons learned for the future will also be discussed. A proposal by the Committee of the Regions for Funding beyond 2013 has been welcomed by the Commission. A good example, van der Brande says, of the important role regions play. Europe can not work without its regions and cities. Whatever the issue is, nobody builds a house by beginning with the roof. Europe's regions and cities should be viewed as the solid ground on which we can build our union in real partnership. So a week with a big agenda and some major issues putting our cities and regions once again at the centre of policy making for Europe's future.